In this video I'll show you how to use the new Scannable app from Evernote. I'll start by taking a scan of something in my smart notebook. Point the camera and it should also detect the page, which it has. Now that scan is not so great, it's got a lot of the background in it, so I'm going to try scanning again. Try and get a better one. Yep, that looks good. <coughs> delete this one here by tapping the three dots in the bottom there and delete. So I've just got the one that I want. I can give it a name. There we go. And there's the share button right at the bottom. So I'm going to share this. You can see it's automatically uploading to Evernote. I set that up. If I tap back now, I get some more options. So I can mail, message, send to Evernote, add to the camera roll, export to various locations. You even get the share extensions that you normally would in iOS. And you can open it in different apps also. So we've got those options. I'll try the export. And you can switch to the locations that you've got available on your apps. So I'll hit Dropbox and I'll add this to my inbox. If I now go over to Dropbox, which is where I just uploaded, there's my scan there. You notice it's a JPEG. Single page scans are always a JPEG. So that's the scan. It's a good quality scan but it's a JPEG. At the moment there's no way to make a single page document anything but a JPEG. However, if you make it a multi-page document, then you can export to PDF. So let's try again. I'll take that page. This is a new scan. Switch to the next page. Page two, let's do this third page as well. Now we've got a, page, a three page scan. <coughs> it's done some interesting rotation there. I think that looks good. I should be able to rotate it here. There we go, once more, so it's the correct orientation. Yep. You can also crop here as well if, if necessary. So you can move it in, still following the contours of the page due to the perspective. So that could be done if, uh, if desired. I'll just uh, get back to roughly where it should be. Okay, now I have my multi-page document. Hit the share button, it's automatically going to upload to Evernote. And if I hit export again, then I can upload this to my inbox. Go, save that to inbox. Switch back to Dropbox, see what type of file we have. And we have a PDF. So it's my multi-page scan there. All three pages. Okay, now if I go to Evernote, you should find that there's my problem-solving scan, and that is an image which I can then annotate. And here's my multi-page PDF. This one's got the but it's got the third page missing, that's a bit, or the second page missing. Just, well, I have a PDF here, I could annotate that, look at the various pages. So whenever you have a single page scan, then you have an image, 
and whenever you have a multi-page scan you have a PDF. There's no way to force it either way apart from if I go back here I've got a multi-page document here I can export to the camera roll so then I should get some images there to set up automatic uploads to Evernote hit across, hit the settings button there go to Evernote and I've got always save to Evernote on and now it's off you can turn it back on so there we go, that's how you use Scannable to get PDFs or images so if I my three page document here but if I go into image photos app then each one of those pages was turned into a single image so I can get my JPEGs that way by exporting it to the photos app